I saw somebody running. Oh, no way. Look at that. Somebody drew a Sasquatch. <laughs> hey, we're close for the night. Nobody's allowed past this point. I'll give you five seconds to get your butt out of here. Na 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 na. <laughs> Look at that. He's counting me. Seriously. Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to some more shenanigans and sneaky Sasquatch. And where we left off in the previous episode, I actually managed to get myself the certificates for all three jobs at the port. And let me tell you guys, I'm really enjoying this latest update so far. Uh, it has been pretty insane and uh, I was not expecting what we've actually explored in the previous one. But before I'm gonna carry on, let me try a few things. First of all, let me just make my way all the way to the racetrack. I want to see if the instructor is going to be there. I want to see what he's going to say about, or at least I should say what he's got to say about stealing those cones from the port. That was pretty unexpected to tell the truth. All right, let's see here. And of course, as I always do, stop by, grab some mushrooms, keep her going. <laughs> Why not? Now, I'm really curious to see what the, uh, instructor has to say about him really curious at the same time I want to check out something uh, let me just park here for a second let me just grab uh, let's see let me grab my binoculars here now again I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find those codes for the safe out here or if those codes are only gonna be available in the brand new area right yeah I definitely cannot see anything out there and I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any codes hiding around here, right? I did just notice some mushrooms over there, but that's kind of about it. I love that we have these binoculars, though, because they kind of allow us to scout up the area a little bit before driving over to those locations. Just to see if we're looking, for example, for mushrooms, we can easily just use the binoculars to see if what we can find. Uh, now, hold up. I think what I'm supposed to do is make my way to the racetrack here. Because if I'm not mistaken... The path that we saw as I was live streaming, right? It was about here somewhere. Oh, it's still here, actually. Look at that. It's still here, right? We still have this path, but uh, it hasn't been unlocked, which means we cannot really go anywhere with it. And uh, if, I'm looking my, if I'm using my binoculars, I still cannot spot anything with them. Wow, this area here, this road taking us to the dirt racetrack, it's really huge. Have anything on the left side there? No. What about in the middle here? Uh, nothing, no secret codes, no nothing. And it's not allowing me to keep on going to the left side, so probably not gonna have any codes here. Alright, anyway, in that case, you know what? Let me just skip as I'm gonna make my way to the racetrack. Just because I wanna see if I can actually chat with the instructor. Alright, there we go. We made it to the racetrack. Now, let me see. I'm pretty sure the instructor is not gonna be in the house, right? He's probably gonna be at the job right over here. Uh, which means I may not be able to chat with him about what happens. Please take a number and uh, wait. Ah, uh, never mind, dude. I was hoping I would be able to talk about <laughs> him uh, stealing those cones, but anyway. Alright, if I use my binoculars, again, I cannot really spot anything with them around here. So again, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to do anything about this. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, in that case, uh, let me just skip as I'm going to make my way back to the port. I want to try to do some more jobs over there. Alright, there we go. We are back in town. And the reason I want to stop here first is because we do have to eat something before I go to work. I don't know if we're going to have like a cafeteria area or something like that in the, uh, in the port. I'm not sure. But let me grab some food first of all. Get my belly filled up. There we go, buddy. Just like that. Perfect. Um, while we're at it, let me also get myself a little bit of a uh, free food. Why not? And again, look at that. We can use... Can I also use this one? I mean, we can. It's so weird, though. Yeah, I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, these hands are really messing me up, though. I don't understand because... Because the developers have the left one confused with the right one, I'm really, really messing everything up here. Look at that. Yeah, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> what is happening? Alright, there we go. We got everything we needed. 
So, let me make my way to the job then and uh, see if we gotta do some more jobs over there. And at the same time, I definitely have to start using the binoculars more right here and see if I can spot something. So, if I keep on going this way... Hmm... Uh, there are, of course, a lot of trees, but nothing really that we need. If I keep on going this way, it's just gonna stop eventually. And same for that side, yeah. Right, that's fine. In that case, let me just make my way towards the port. There we go. And eventually, I am gonna try to find those codes. We know that so far. The second one, actually, the first one is two, and the fourth one is five. The third one is actually five. Um, we cannot go through here. We know that we have a table if you want to eat. Interesting. Oh, look at the ships, though. The amount of cargo they have on. SS Reggie Bumpson. <laughs> that is pretty epic. We gotta start getting some work done here, eh? MV Biffy Bumpson. Interesting. And apparently that's kind of the end of it. Alright, uh, let me just drive in then and see what work we gotta do here. Come on, buddy, let me in. I wanna get to work. There we go. Uh, let me also try something up. Let me try to go to the second floor here. If I'm not mistaken, there was a way for me to go on the top of the rooftop. Not 100% sure, but let's just check. Alright, so as we come out here... Yeah, there is like a ladder taking us to the top. Oh, and this is the cafeteria. I get it now. And of course, there is some food in here, but no coffee. Hmm. I'm definitely going to have to start remembering to bring some coffee for myself here. Or maybe I'm going to be able to use this one, the coffee machine here. Yeah, I don't even know. And this one is a restricted area. Wait, what? Crane instructor. Hey, this is my tower. Get out of here. Hmm. There's so many places around here that I'm going to be able to explore, though. I just have to figure out how to do all this stuff. I have no idea. Maybe I'm going to have to come late at night as a security guard and explore all these areas. Although, I don't think the game allowed me to go with the elevator at the top. So I'm not sure what that is all about. All right, anyway, let's just get ourselves a new job. Uh, let's go with... Load ship, I guess? Yeah, let's just try to load some ships. Why not? Alright, the SS Baby Bob just docked in at the berth 2. Roll out and start loading. Hmm. Check your clipboard to see which cargo needs to go where. I'll be in the break room if you need me. Huh. So, if I look at the clipboard, apparently we need to get two pulps in warehouse C. And the drop-off is at berth 2. Huh. Alright, let me see if I can figure it out, I guess. Uh, so we gotta find birth 2. Whatever that is. We're gonna have a lot of work to do here, eh? Now, how do I figure out which one is birth 2? Uh, and hold up. Drop off is... Cargo C, which is this one, right? Um... Is this going to be birth 2? How do you even see the name? Oh, that's how you see it. Never mind, it's St. Key. Yeah, birth 2. There we go. Right. So, pick up warehouse C, birth 2. Ah, we got to pick it up and bring it here. Never mind. Alright, in that case, let me make my way inside C over here. If I'm not mistaken, we need two of these. Pretty easy, look at that. And all I gotta do is just drop it off here. Uh, let me go into this one, drop it off, and get out of there. Alright, pretty easy. I understand how this works now. Uh, I think we also need a few of these if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Alright, pretty easy. Come on, buddy. Put it at the bottom. There we go. Perfect. Oh, man, just driving the forklift feels so good. I absolutely love this. It's really enjoyable. It's really not difficult at all, especially if you're playing with the controller as I am. It's really, really good. 
All right, pull this down, get out of there, and we gotta bring one more. Uh, which, if I'm not mistaken, there are the two sacks, right? Which are these ones right here. There we go, buddy. So good, so, so good. And drop it. There we go. Well, we got 222. That is a lot of coins. I love it. Whoa, the time passes so fast though when you're doing these jobs. Are you kidding me? But all right, here for the night shift. Let's see what we got. So because it is getting nighttime right now, unfortunately, we cannot do any more of the day jobs. But I can definitely go ahead and do another night shift mode. So why not? Let's go ahead and do it. All right, buddy. I know exactly what I got to do. So let's see what we got here. Uh, -do, let me switch these to this one is the left one. This one is the right one, right? So that's going to connect with that and that's going to connect with that. So let's go into one. Um, don't we see anything at the entrance here? What about the entrance to the sewers? There's probably going to happen something at the sewers here. I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, let me check the parking space. All right, Hangar C seems to be all good. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to look right over here at the entrance of Hangar C. Again, this one is Hangar C, but I don't see anybody over. Hangar B as well looks really good. Nothing happening here. Hangar A seems to be all good. Our corp is all silent. Three as well. Interesting. Uh, this one is all empty. And eight is also all good. Hmm. I mean, I definitely don't see anything happening around here. Am I just supposed to turn this off and leave it as is? Oh, there's a burglar. Um... Camera six. I think it was camera six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's camera six? I saw somebody running. Oh, no way. Look at that. Somebody drew a Sasquatch. <laughs> On hunger. A, I guess. Are you kidding me, dude? Come on, game. Somebody's vandalizing the place. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to fight him anymore. <laughs> what about this? What is this going to do? What if I mess around with this? Oh, this is turning on and off the lights. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I am supposed to do a little bit of that. Yeah, look at that. Somebody vandalized this place. So somebody vandalized um, Hangar A, apparently. <laughs> that is funny. All right, so if I go over here, uh, vandalize hangar A. There we go. I don't want to do anything with that anymore. Uh, you're not supposed to go in there while you're working. Hmm, seriously? I just want to explore this place a little bit, though. That's all I want to do. I wonder if all these fellas are going inside here. You gotta do that on your own time. Oh, so the cafeteria is right here. I get it. <laughs> that guy's uh, sleeping on the floor. Seriously. And look at all the food that we got in here. Even coffee, maybe? I don't. Need, I haven't seen any coffee. Oh, we gotta use the vending machine if I want to grab the coffee. I get it. Yeah, from right over here. Maybe like uh, energy drinks. Hmm. Did you forget about what you were doing already? Check the security cameras. Alright, buddy, don't worry about it. I was trying to chase off that dude, but... Anyway... I definitely have to try to get me the uh, shoes on. Because I'm not really that fast, eh? I really want to be a little bit faster here as I'm running away. Or at least chasing some people away. Uh, this one is Hangar B... Yeah, I'm not gonna maybe I'm not gonna make it to uh, our corp warehouse here. I'm pretty sure about it. 
and or even if I make it there, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to go inside. Man, but this area is so huge, I definitely gotta get myself a car if I wanna start exploring this place. Yeah, and all these ones seem to be closed. Hmm, your shift is over. Hopefully I got everything that I had to observe here, right? Uh, doo -doo -doo. It looks like uh, everything is in order. There we go, another job done. Huh. I'm curious, maybe if I do finish all the security camera jobs, maybe we're gonna get promoted or something like that? I don't even know. But let me just go back to the marina, get some sleep, reset the day here, and uh, do some more jobs. All right, a new day has started, and it is also kind of raining. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we can catch all those people vandalizing or the uh, hobos sleeping inside the house. Or the hangers, I should say. I don't think you can catch them because I did try to catch at least the hobo, but for some reason the game did not allow me to do that. It only kind of allowed me to chase them off, I guess. Alright, let me make my way back to the port and see what else we gotta do. Man, I gotta focus on trying to figure out what the code is for that secret safe. But I don't know exactly where I should go in order to look for those things. I really don't know. Alright, let me get inside here. Come on, buddy. Let me in. I wanna go to work? go and if I jump into another job over here of course then I'm gonna grab one of the day jobs right uh, which I think I'm gonna go with this one actually should I try a different one load ship load ship unload the ship ah which means of course we gotta use something else unload secure cargo wait what huh this one unfortunately is why is this one locked? Oh, you know what? As I was saying, I'm pretty sure we gotta finish the entire night shift. And probably that's gonna give me some sort of an upgrade. And I'm gonna have a badge. And then I'm gonna be able to do these jobs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about it. Alright, well in that case, you know what? Let me go ahead and load some ships. Let's see how this is gonna go. Alright, the Envy Guggen's Wedge just docked in and uh, we need to load it up with cargo. The forklift drivers will bring cargo and drop it off to the loading zone for you. Use the crane to load it onto the ship. I'll be in the uh, break room if you need me. <laughs> I love how these ge these guys are just not helping at all. Alright, so, uh, we do have... Hold up, let me switch between these two. And, let's see what we gotta do. First of all, let me grab me this wood. There we go. Man, there's so much work that they're doing here, I love it. So there's one done. We have a lot of cargo that we gotta add to the uh, ship, eh? No, no, no. There we go. Perfect. There's another one. I mean, so easy. So freaking easy. Uh, let me place this one over there. I don't know if you can actually stack them, though. Hmm. I know you can stack them with the forklift in the warehouses, but I don't know if you can actually stack them in the uh, ship here. Can I? Yeah, I'm not going to try. I'm just going to put it there. We definitely have enough slots. There's some broccoli. Can I? You know what? Let me just try to stack it. Oh, you can stack it. Never mind. That is awesome. And ultimately, this one is going on top of the wood right over here to the back. Oh, never mind. Or like that. <laughs> there we go. So easy. And the great thing about these jobs is that there's no time or anything, which is really cool. You don't really have to be worried about losing the missions, right? Uh, let me do... What should I do next? Let me go with this one, the unload ship. Alright, I'm glad you're here, buddy. The SS Maggie Jim Bob has just arrived and needs you to unload it. Use the crane to unload cargo to the loading zone. The forklift will take it from there. Alright, let's do this. Uh, check your clipboard to see which cargo needs to be unloaded. Ah, uh, I'll be in the break room if you need me. Alright, so. Uh, we need to unload one dynamite. Wait, what? I gotta be very careful with that one. And one engine. Actually, four engines. Aha. Uh -huh. So we need four motors and one dynamite. 
I mean... Do we have other cargo in there? Or just that? I don't even know. Let's just see. I mean, that's all the cargo in here. What the heck? What's the point of the clipboard then? I don't get it. There's one. Gotta pay attention with the diamond mine, though. I don't want that to blow up. <laughs> Alright, there's another one. Pretty easy, especially with no timer. Seriously, so easy. Alright, we got another engine here. And lastly, we're gonna have to do the dynamite. Come on, buddy. Almost there. And finally, the dynamite right over here on this side. There we go. <laughs> I said that I want to be fragile with it, but I'm not fragile at all. Easy. Look at that. 300 coins. Man, these jobs are not bad. They're actually giving us a lot of coins. It's really good. And if I'm not mistaken, we can easily do more daily missions, right? Let's see. Uh, let's go with load ship. Why not? All right. The MV Juggy Bubby just docked at the Bird 2. Roll out and start loading. Uh, check your clipboards. All right. So uh, we got four stacks of coal. Warehouse C. And lumber. Warehouse C. Alright, let's just find the warehouse C. It's probably gonna be all the way to the back, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, so this one is warehouse A. No, no, what are you doing, buddy? Come on, driving. Warehouse B over here. And C right over here. So, we need to get ourselves a lot of the coal, right? Which are these things. Again, really easy. Real, really easy, but real, really enjoyable. I think this is about to become my favorite job in the game, for sure. Just because how fun it is. And how intuitive everything is. Definitely controlling the uh, forklift here, and even the crane, feels really good. Alright, let's get this one going down. Perfect. I think I need, if I'm not mistaken, four of these, right? And one lumber. So let me get this one going like that. So easy. I wonder what would happen if I would try to just steal this stuff and uh, run away with it. <laughs> I don't even know. The thing is, you can't even come inside this place. At least not just yet, I can't. Uh, so let me just raise this up so that we can grab the one at the top. Perfect. And ultimately, what I gotta do is just place it down and we should be good. There we go. Easy mission. Um, let's just see, it's it's 8 p.m., which means, at least almost 8 p.m., which means I think I can do another mission. Yeah, let's just do this one again. Let's just load another ship. I don't exactly know what time uh, everything stops, though. Maybe at 9 p.m.? That's when people uh, start going back home. So we got warehouse C and warehouse A. Ah, interesting. So I got to bring two watermelon crates from warehouse A to berth 1. And then from warehouse C, we gotta bring two lumbers to berth one. Interesting. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, warehouse A is right over here, and berth one is also right over here, right? Yeah, berth one is right over here. So let me look for some watermelons. Um, hmm, I already see one, but I gotta raise this up first. There we go, buddy. And we gotta place you right over here. Oh man, this is so fun. So fun. Love it. Alright, so that's one. And we got another 
Right over here. It would be a little bit more interesting if there was also traffic, though. Just because you would have to dodge the traffic, make sure you don't hit anything. Uh, maybe, like, try to carry some fragile stuff, make sure you don't break it. That would be really cool. But again, now that the developers have finished creating this, maybe in the future, who knows? Maybe they are going to add some uh, updates like that, allowing us to uh, carry fragile stuff. It's definitely going to be much easier from now on, once that, uh, now that they have built up the system, I guess. Alright, and we got to bring this one to birth one. Of course, we need one final lumber from C, and that's it. Man, I'm really loving this. This update is just so good. And when the story mode is also going to arrive, which is of course going to allow us to kind of experience the port area here again with the story, because I'm pretty sure that R Corp is hiding something inside the uh, warehouse at R Corp, right at the top there. But we are going to have to figure out what. Uh, can we get out of this place? No. Hmm. I was just trying to make my way up there to try to explore a little bit, but I think I'm not going to be able to unless... I'm just going to upgrade my security pass, I guess. Alright, and with this one done, of course, because it is nighttime, we cannot do the daily jobs, but we can definitely go ahead and do the night shift. Interesting. Look at that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do another night shift. Let's see what we got here. Eventually, we are going to upgrade ourselves, and that is going to be really exciting. All right, let's see who okay, we can catch today. Uh, let me switch between these two. That's going to sit there and this one here. All right, let's go into camera one. Uh, don't really see anything in camera one. Camera two is not spawning anybody. Camera three. Still going to be looking at that sewer, but I don't see anybody in there. All right, this one is camera C, right? Don't see nobody there. Hmm. Nobody at hangar B. Uh, what is camera six seeing? Nothing. All right, nothing at hangar three. Our corpse seems to be all good. Nine is all good as well, I guess. Hmm. Nothing at the entrance. I mean, everything seems to be all good today. Or I should say tonight. Nothing here. I'm just looking around for... Uh, hold up. Let me see if I can change this a little bit. Yeah, this is a little bit too light. Too much light in there, right? Ooh! Are you kidding me, dude? Come on! <laughs> Somebody messed up already. I didn't manage to see it though. Sasquatch is real. <laughs> uh, this one is in hangar B. I think it's. Who's doing this stuff though? <laughs> I love that they keep on leaving these messages though. Alright, so we have hangar B. Let me go with. Nope. Let me go with um, vandalism in hangar B. Right. I am going to keep on looking on the cameras, though. Maybe we are going to get more things? I don't even know. All right. Nobody at the entrance. Nobody here. Hmm. Nobody at the sewer there. Of course, we still have the vandalism in B. Nobody there. I mean, I'm curious if multiple things can actually happen. I don't even know. I don't think anything is going to happen in camera 89, at least not yet, until I'm going to get my upgrade, right? My upgrade pass. Hmm. I really wish I could use the camera here in order to kind of spot another number. I know that I've already done that with camera 8 and 9, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, nobody around here. 
What if I use camera 9 to go up? It's not really working though. Yeah, I think we may actually be done for the day. I just can't spot anything anymore. Huh. Also, you can easily just jump into the car and patrol around. You could easily just do that as well if you want to. But uh, by the looks of it, everything seems to be all good. <laughs> can I actually just remove this? No, it's not really allowing me. <laughs> Sasquatch is real. Dude, whoever's trying to leave these messages, they better stop. I don't want people to know. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves another night shift done. That was pretty cool. But of course, we still have so much more work to do before I'm going to be able to be done with this. It all looks in order. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure if you do fail to write down the reports, if you have some incidents, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be considered completed. Uh, so you might actually lose this. Now, I wonder, what's going to happen if I simply run through here? Hey, we're closed for the night. Nobody's allowed past this point. I'll give you five seconds to get your butt out of here. Um, Hold up. That guy started counting. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Look at that, he's counting me, seriously? Oh, the security cameras are also activating. No way, what? <laughs> I got pushed by that guy, but I didn't manage to get myself inside the sewer system. Which means... Hmm, we can explore this part a little bit and figure it out. Alright, so for the code here, we gotta figure it out. But what about this? What is this? There's a code on the clipboard, but someone spilled coffee on it. It says 581 something. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to try all the numbers, eh? Uh, five? Uh, no, not that. So it's 5819? No, uh, 5812? Uh, 5811? Ooh, we got it! 5811! There we go, which means now we can get inside this place. Huh. And you know what? We do have the goggles, right? That would definitely allow us to go inside this place during the nighttime and try to check out some things that we may not be able to check out without the goggles, I guess. And the uh, sneaking around technology, I guess. The shoes. But the problem is I'm kind of sleepy at the moment. I do see another set of stairs. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to take me to. All right, another set of stairs here as well. Hmm. I think these ones are actually gonna allow me to go all the way up to the R-Corp hangars. Yeah, look at that, there's another one there. Is that what's gonna happen? The problem is I'm really sleepy. There's something really heavy on top of the uh, manhole. Ah. So of course I'm gonna have to move that around, right? But in order to do that, I feel like, again, I do need that pass for the security guards. Yeah, this one is also gonna be covered. Hmm, and if I'm not mistaken, there is one more to the top here. Um, please don't faint, buddy. I should have gotten myself some of that coffee. Now, what if I make it all the way to this side? Come on, Sasquatch, run faster. Uh, nope, just dead end. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I'm just gonna try the stairs, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna faint in just a second here. Come on! Faster, faster, faster! Man, I was definitely not expecting another sewer system. Ooh, this one is not covered! Ah, there we go! We made it into the... Ooh, 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 ooh. So we gotta sneak around past these fellas. I get it. So that's how. That's why we gotta learn how to sneak around. And we also have to remove these things if I want to grab me that cash at the top there. Hmm. Interesting. Can I use this to open it up? Oh, <laughs> I fainted just before I pressed the button. Are you kidding me, game? Dang it. I was just about to explore that spot a little bit more. Huh. Yeah, that's alright, buddy. Thank you very much for bringing me over, though. 
That is uh, really helpful though. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I do see quite a lot of these mushrooms spawning in. I'm not going to try to sell them just yet. I am going to try to sell them maybe next episode as I keep on collecting a few more right here. Um, but other than this, yeah, look at that. So many mushrooms everywhere. I wonder if the developers have changed the spawn rate for these mushrooms. Because as you guys know, I still have one more mushrooms in the uh, Let's Play Together playlist. Um, we still have to find the elephant saddle in that one. And I'm really hoping that they probably change something about it. And I'm probably going to be able to find it a little bit easier this time. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, you know what? I think it's going to be the end of this episode for now. And we will come back in the next one. We're definitely going to keep on exploring this world a little bit. And I think, I think I'm going to try to stay until late at night. Uh, try to get myself some coffee. Uh, just because I want to try to sneak around uh, back there and try to figure out what I'm supposed to do next. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I manage to open up those gates, but uh, make sure you stick around until the next episode, and uh, make sure you also leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new here, and I'll see you all next one soon. Bye, everybody!